What's up everyone, it's Thumb Ocean Derby for Life. It has been a long while since you guys had an update on this channel. Um, at least a video face update. Uh, I haven't really been able to make any videos because of, well, you can see, a lot of snow. Um, I've been kind of holding off on put derby stuff. Um, just been so cold that it doesn't pay to heat up the shop and then go through 35, 40 pounds of propane a day or, or within the week or whatever. And then that's just more money I got to spend to heat the shop. Uh, the shop's not insulated, so it doesn't really pay to do it. But uh, yeah, I got a video update for you guys. I have a new video or a new vehicle for 2020 that I'm going to be building. I have not bought it yet. Um, the guy that I bought it off of um, wanted it out of his yard. So, and he said, take it before the snow flies, which it snow flew. And I got it here. Uh, I haven't paid, but I will be paying for it. Um, I bought this thing for, I think we agreed on 500 bucks. A little more than what I wanted to spend, but I think it it's worth it. But here you go, guys. Here is a new vehicle for 2020. And it is a truck. I will be doing a truck for 2020. Um, what is funny is I've done compacts. I've done midsize, minivans, chain stock, old iron, mod, 80s chain and um 80s welded i've pretty much hit everything off the list just about the only thing i haven't done yet was trucks and the guy convinced me to buy the truck off of him so we're gonna be doing chain trucks this year or in 2020 not quite this year yet no new year yet got a few got a couple weeks yet uh, this is an 80, 86 Dodge Power Ram. Uh, from what I was told uh, of the knowledge of this truck, this used to be an old plow truck. Uh, the guy, um, I don't know exactly what all is wrong with it. I know it's rusty. I know it is very rusty. The box is virtually non-existent. Um, the... Fenders are pretty rusty, uh, but realistically, I mean, she, I can always do something. Um, it's going to be a chain truck. It's not, not going to be anything special. Just going to kind of build her up to the rules and then we're going to let her buck. Uh, the motor that's in it, I think it was a 316. Or something like that can't quite remember uh not gonna open up the hood just because i don't want to clean off the snow uh, she is uh she a little rusty uh floors are not all there but that don't bother me too much um, this is, like I said, going to be a chain truck. This, it's on the driver's side too. Um, I'm probably going to end up leaving this stuff in. As long as the, the, uh, oh, can't really see anything. But yeah, that's a uh, floor. Too bad you can't see nothing. But, I mean, it's right there is the worst of it. Seats, sturdy. I will leave the bench seat in. I'm gonna put a, a bar and then a four point cage in it for sure. Why is it so dark? Why can't it be lighter? Oh well. Um, probably gonna weld the door shut like I do off everything else. Weld the driver's door. We'll chain the, or we'll bolt. I'm gonna see if I can find a different box. If I can't, I'll run this one. But I mean, as you can see, this box is it's ugly. She it is very ugly. I wish there was some sort of D 
decent lighting. But I mean, she is very ugly. Don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, my, I think I have my brightness down a little ways, so it's hard for me to see on the screen. But this box is very ugly. Man. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she ugly. Uh, bumpers in decent shape. I might. I'm gonna try to sell in the bumpers, the chrome bumpers. See if uh, I can get any bites on that. If not. I'll throw them on. Uh, tailgate I'm going to leave on. I might drop it, but we'll see. I got to look at the rules again on um, what I can and can't do. Oh, what else? Uh, she got a bed liner in, which that pretty much what did the box in is the bed liner. Frame's flaky, but seems fairly solid. Let's see if we can get a shot up in there motor well, the motor might be good Let's see if we can get her running nice chrome bumper take the grill out take the, all the headlights out i mean this thing's gonna take me maybe if i take my time maybe a good week or two otherwise this thing is just gonna be a very quick build and very easy build See how these fours are. A little stuck. Eh. I could easily. This thing will take an hour to strip. Tear the dash out. Put a. The cage is going to be. I think going to be pretty simple. Just a four point cage. Put a. I think it's a. It's a manual. But I'm gonna put an automatic in. I'm gonna switch it all, switch the motor and tranny out to something else. Make something up underneath the work with it. Build up a new drive shaft. I'm gonna see if I can find a slider. Possibly. But yeah, I'll end up uh, building up a different drive shaft. It's gonna be pretty easy, I think. Drop the tank, move it, move it to the back here. Move it right to here, put the battery there. I mean, this thing is gonna be easily a couple couple days build. Let's see. Insurance by Ma Mafia Mutual, you hit us, we hit you. Huh. Hardtails America Motorcycle, St. Cloud, Minnesota. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna probably try selling the wheels, get some money back. I mean, even the exhaust, I might try to. Ah, the exhaust is junk. Scrap it. But I'm gonna try selling the bumpers. I'm gonna see what I can use for the back bumper, because the back bumper is nice. It's not rusted out or anything. But yeah, I'm gonna see. Try selling the wheels and the bumpers for sure. And then the motor, I think I'll save. It can only have two wheel drive, so the front drive shaft will be coming out, or for the front drive. That will come out when I pull the motor and tranny out, cut the exhaust out. I'm gonna see if I can maybe get this motor running. If I can get the motor running, maybe I'll just leave that one in, but Otherwise, I want to put a 305 in it. Because I got tons of 305s. Yeah, she's... A lot di <laughs> this one's a lot rustier than that one. Ooh, that's ugly. Yeah, but there you go, guys. There is a truck for 2020. Um, I'm going to see if I can make this a 10-minute video, which I got like 30 seconds yet. But... Uh, thank you guys for watching all my videos. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, this is going to be a fun build this year. Um, this is going to be something different. I kind of always wanted to try doing trucks, but I always didn't really want to just because of how intimidating it can be. But you know what? I got to give her a shot. I got to give her a good try. 
But there you go, guys. There is a build for 2020. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Uh, a lot more content will keep coming. Um, I do have some more RC stuff that I will, I'm going to be doing or doing a video update on. So stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, thank you guys again for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you all in the next one.